It's a first John one or sorry, first John five three, and it says this for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. And that's what we need to wrap our mind around is that the Bible isn't this list of arbitrary rules that's trying to, to harm your life. Are you hearing that, students? The Bible isn't a list of arbitrary rules that are trying to squash your fun and squash your happiness. What the Bible is, is a foundational document for our lives where God is trying to say, hey, you want joy, you want happiness, you want life, it's found here. That's what God's word is. And if you find yourself seeking the advice of the world or following your own feelings more than you find yourself following God's word, then it might be because you have a fundamental misunderstanding of what God's word is meant to do in your life. It's not meant to harm you. It's meant to be for your good. It's not meant to to ruin your life. It's meant to give you life. It's not meant to steal your happiness. It's meant to give you happiness. And the thing is, in this world, and and y'all experience this more than I think um, a lot of us did uh, in y'all's lifetime, is that the world is telling y'all that you need to follow your feelings more than anything. That you need to follow your understanding more than anything. That you need to follow what feels good more than anything. And let me just tell you this, the more you follow what feels good, the more you follow what you think is good, the more you follow what your 15-year-old brain thinks is the right thing to do, the more it's going to lead you to a path of destruction. And I'm sure we could get every single adult up here and tell horror stories of the mistakes that they've made in their life following their own life, following their own feelings. The Bible actually tells us this. In, in uh, Proverbs fourteen twelve. it says, there's a way that seems right to man, but its way ends in death. 